I've been fascinated by Super Studio for a long time. And they were, you know, the serious kind of Italian political radicals of the time. Um, in particular, they were very, very critical of the modernist style that was kind of taking over the world at the time in terms of globalization. And as a critique of it, they established this idea of a, what they called the continuous monument, which was a, a kind of grid-like superstructure that would cover the entire surface of the planet, which was just like, you know, pure, flat kind of landscape, with this grid on it. And, and they envisaged various kind of forms this would take, including actually being able to kind of live on it and it supply you with power and this kind of stuff. Behind the print is the 3D model of this object, the Super Studio continuous monument, an aspect of it based on, on one particular photo montage they did of the structure kind of enveloping lower Manhattan. So I rebuilt that structure in a 3D modeling program, which you can then import into Google Earth. So you have the dual thing of the structure, but you also have it within the kind of immense context of, of this project to photograph the entire world. Their image making wasn't photographic. It was always this kind of uh, constructed image. So for me to take a, you know, something that exists in the digital world and photograph it, to kind of screenshot and then to print that is an echo of the kind of photo collage technique. It's, it's very much a, a construction of an image. But you know, what lies behind that is the ability now to actually visit that structure in, in space. So to recreate the structures that Super Studio created as collage, we can recreate as kind of 3D structures that you can actually explore and go and visit. And you know, you get a very different relationship to their, to their scale, to the kind of the, the form of imagination uh, that went into creating them in the first place.